Pottery Barn has some of the coolest Christmas crafts, like these little signs, aren't they adorable? Look at how pretty they look in this display case. But they're pretty expensive. These two signs right now are on clearance for $76.99. Ouch. And I thought to myself, you know what? I think I can make these. So let's make some Christmas crafts inspired by Pottery Barn. It all just goes away. The things I plan to say. Oh, baby. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna be using some resin. Now I got this set of resin on Amazon. I think it was around $15 and it has two parts. So you mix equal parts of A and B. So this is the part A and then part B. And I'm just using some little paper cups like bathroom cups that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna pour and stir while I'm mixing the two parts together. And I found these really cool silicone molds. I think I actually got these on Amazon. I will leave links in the description box below. But one is a reindeer. The reindeer is a little bit hard to work with because the pieces of his antlers are so tiny. But that's all right. If you're using resin like this, it's very forgiving and it's very moldable. So even though I'm gonna end up with a lot of that resin that's hanging outside of the mold, it will be actually very easy to trim the oversized pieces away. Now this is the easy one. This is a Santa face mold and he is so adorable, but it's also really easy to pour all of the resin into the mold and not really have a lot of like over, you know, overfilling it. And the curing time for this resin is an hour. So in an hour, I was able to separate the mold from the resin. And look at how pretty that turned out. This is so much easier to work with than say the moldable clay. And even the deer, even though I had some like resin overload going on, It actually turned out cute and just a little bit of excess to clean up. Once I had the resin pieces ready to go, I just used some white chalk paint and I believe this is Heirloom Traditions white chalk paint and I painted each of the resin pieces solid white. And with all of those little intricacies, it does make it a little bit challenging, but it, in the end, I promise it's worth it. So first I did the Santa, then I did the reindeer, and I let them completely dry, and then I started a second coat. Now you can see the glitter that's in the container that's up in the corner. Yes, I'm going to be using some iridescent glitter on top of my resin pieces. So once I had the second coat of paint, then I went ahead and sprinkled the glitter onto the reindeer. You could skip this step if you want, but I just really like how it has a little bit of shine. And then I repeated the process for the Santa. Glitter and Christmas just seemed to go together. So then I found these signs on Timu of all places and they were $2 a piece. You can get different sizes. And I believe these are four by four inch. So I just took some more of the chalk paint and I painted everything white. So the back, the sides, the top, every part of these signs is going to be white. Now the Pottery Barn ones are 12 inches by 12 inches and I could not find a mold that was that big and actually I do like the smaller size better.
So now I have my resin pieces, my Santa, all ready to go. So I just used some Dollar Tree wood glue and I put that onto the back of the Santa and secured him in place on the sign. That's adorable. And I repeated the process with the reindeer. And there you have it. Some very cute Pottery Barn inspired Christmas decor. I think they turned out great. And I am so grateful to you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe and come back because I've got a lot of different Christmas DIYs coming up. And once you've subscribed and hit that bell notification, you'll know when I have new videos so you can get started on your Christmas crafting this year.